Oh my god, this is so sad. I mean, I have been through some heavy shit, but this is too much. Hello, people. Want to start on the Netflix's uh, The Witcher? I'm going to be honest. I've only played the last game. I've not read the books. There was the spin-off I sort of wanted to play, but I was too poor at the time to buy it. Is it Phone Breakers or Breaking Phone? I I've seen it on Steam sale, so I'm going to get it at some point. Uh, hopefully it stays on sale when I get uh, paid. I hope so. Well, I hope so, right? But I basically want to get into Netflix, The Witcher, Showrunner, Disputes Claims, The Show Writers, Mock the Books. As I really said, I don't really have a dog in this fight. I tried to watch the first one. Well, the first series. I couldn't really get into it. Uh, it was just sort of... Gerald was put on a back burner and it wasn't really that interesting. As I said, I've only come from playing a game, so my prospect is Gerald is the protagonist. I don't see why we're not following him. Coming from that though, let's get into it. Don't believe everything you read. <laughs> see about that there. There was that Kevin Smith bullshit with uh, He Man with uh, Clownfish TV. Uh, Neon and Gihi Sparkles had some beef there. Uh, they were unfairly fucking targeted and it turns out that they were right so yeah listen look uh, oh, there was uh, Kathleen Kennedy not Kathleen Kennedy uh, even though she's kind of a uh, pain in the ass uh, is it James Merigold James Merigold is doing Indy 5 I believe Indy Jones 5 uh, Dial of Destiny flipping hell a shit name in it so He's also came out uh, against Doomcock, uh, claiming it's not real, what he was saying, because the f originally it started on 4chan, uh, slate in the movie, Doomcock picked it up with some sources, and then basically the directors came out and said, it's not true, it's not that, so on and so forth, BS. So now, we're going to crack on, ah, nothing, so we're going to crack on, uh, I've got something to sort of Basically, not trust the direct, not trust the basically the writers in this. But let's crack on. The Richard Showrunners, Lauren Hitswich, Hitswich, has reported that Netflix fans are insistent she has never mocked the books, the video game, and Netflix show based upon it. So yeah, let's just instantly disprove this. Get it away with. So Hitswich admits when she first watched Watcher's death scene. So this is key in season two i believe like i said i've not got over season one to be honest uh her instance was to punchy was punchy at the moment with a bit of meta comedy henry cavill pushed for a more heartfelt moment and eventually his witch caved where which she said there was ultimately the right call see man she doesn't understand what the crack is uh, so Henry was unhappy with the line she recalled finally I said you know what you can come up and something I trust you so Henry Cavill pretty much saved that scene and pretty much he carried the movie not movie that he carried the he, that he carried the series and he sort of left because well it sort of hit that he wasn't feeling uh, the value and he was getting that he wasn't feeling that it was Witcher that he knows and from what I hear is Henry Cavill is a massive fan of the Witcher the Witch a series and let's just hope he can do the new Superman justice uh, like I said I have faith within Henry he's done nothing wrong and he seems part of the fandom and a sort of good news for me is I'm a massive Mass Effect fan and it, so and it sounds like he's picking up the Mass Effect uh, series as well has never mocked the books the video games and netflix based upon series read that 
uh, the forward began when why are uh, what the fuck you demil I'm calling him demil uh, who now works on X-Men 97 man wait why do you have to work on my wait X-Men 97 that, that was an un, the animated series was based on it's a classic I hope they don't fuck that up says some of his colleagues in the Richard writing room actively mock the sources material written by uh wait wait that sounds bad wait got look this guy up then uh who some of it so he's coming out and says that they basically mock the source material wait i got lucky up in conjunction with that now that could wait you've seen stuff i like but no man i'm getting distracted wait i've been on the show namely witcher where some of the writers were not or actively disliked the book and games read it's like when there uh, what's it says kevin over in there uh, the mcu has claimed he doesn't want hire people that like the comic books it's like why it's the people you want i don't know even actively mocking the source material the viewers said in an interview back in october okay where was up to got distracted with in a recipe for disaster and bad morale he added fandom as a litmus test checks ego and makes all the long nights worth it you have to respect the work before you're allowed to add it to its legacy which is pretty much great Demio, i'm sorry i can't pronounce your fucking name i'm not fucking french i believe but i'm sorry i don't did you at the start i'm starting to like what you're saying and hopefully you can actually do x-men 97 some justice wait that sounds good that uh, since then the witcher fans have flooded uh, his rich social media great channels with complaints about fair enough we've seen what happened there so they put out the petition well the fans did anyway on change.org it's not like change.org has ever actually changed anything in the world how did that site actually make money it's not changed a single thing <laughs> fuck that uh, i've never mocked the books his rich reply critics on instagram breaking a silence the issue uh on the issue the books are now entirely livelihood fucking hell if you're relying on one show to be your life your livelihood that's, that's quite bad they have a great relationship with mr polish and writers <laughs> sorry about that bit yeah uh, fucking hell bad english and a half Oscar, uh, uh, or sacred and safe and more than anything support of space don't believe everything you read uh -huh. kevin smith james mary gold kathleen kennedy all lying bastards i've had great respect for butte but and episodes he's he's wrote this ridge added later when someone quotes the mail words back to her the stargate ep the striker episode is one of my favorites he wrote the one where people came at Kevin Moore and es Escalade dies which had a lot of backlash but he was brave in telling the story he wanted to tell <coughs> pardon me it takes a lot of balls to do that i respect that uh, her response has been backed up by current writer fuck's sake javid fucking grillo mark fuck you i don't know who insists that the rumors about mocking the material are false wells matt d fucking ambrogio called fucking demil comments a whole mess of lies from an ex right off the show Ooh, that sounded a bit solid didn't it the rumors are wait i was going to read this from javid rumors are false i was there you would think for a writer 
and nah, my English is not good. I'm fucking native, and nah, my English is shit. Bear in mind, I'm fucking dyslexic, fucking slightly autistic. I can you see what that is now? Wait, that might be my next video, really. So here's the first, I want uh, every day of season 3 and experience a workplace that was not only great and no hate of the source material at all. Ooh, salty. I wish she wanted to do. Read fair enough. Well, yeah, if he was. So, if the video was season 2, it seems like. But anyway. Enough off topic. Uh, El Cavo Stead, The Hunger Games, Liam Hemsworth. Well, I'm not looking forward to that. I mean, what was we watching in the first place? Henry Cavill could have convinced us. Liam Hemsworth is definitely not going to convince me. Also brings different energy to the show that producers are excited about. Yep, so when that's more go and go off the floor, go and crack on with it. But hey, that's me, that's Davyverse. What's your take on this? I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe to the Davyverse.